Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here, and we are at a place called Fountain Plants this morning, which uh, boasts uh, to be Europe's biggest greenhouses. Yeah, big shout out to Fountain Plants, because they've actually agreed to let me have some uh, free spent compost. Here it is. They call it their peat heap. Uh, it's not actually filled with peat, but they've allowed me to come and take loads of spoil um, for my garden project. You can see then me and dad are there we are loading up lots of compost and actually it takes us a few trips in the end these are for the raised flower beds and if you haven't seen the video on the channel already um, we are doing a garden project at the moment which we need lots and lots of soil for uh, get absolutely filthy this morning really wasn't prepared so we've got uh, the first lot home then in Dad's brand newly restored trailer. There's my latest Proton, uh, bonus Proton content for you. And you can see that the first load we did quite level. And it's all these little bits of soil plugs uh, and some sort of aquifer soil as well um, that they've let us have. It's spent compost, it's no good to them, and they get rid of it. So we're burrowing it around the back and we're putting it into... Um, these raised beds and as you can see there's lots of little brassica plants in there because fountain plants are uh, mainly a brassica grower and clearly those haven't been good enough absolutely shattered barring all that round as you can see by my fat face uh, but there's quite a lot more to go that one is now full and uh, this one is going to need a couple more goes so we need to head on out and out we do, <laughs> and we see this wonderful tractor, uh, which is a local Boston tractor, PJL, JL is Boston registered, uh, we think it's sort of 50s or 60s, and this bloke living the dream, this is something I'd like to do, on the main road out of Boston, holding everybody up <laughs> this afternoon. Filling the second one then, we uh, decided not to put the trailer down the slope a beautiful day and uh, it's a gorgeous part of Lincolnshire where we are uh, but instead we decided to barrow them up because uh, we didn't want to wear out dad's clutch too much on the Peugeot and whilst there I spotted this Mr Oyster Catcher who was uh, clearly grabbing himself some worms uh, out of the local riverbank that was good to see you don't need to go to a um, RSPCA uh, area to see those uh, there they are in the countryside Right, that's the second load, all barrowed up then in the trailer, and we're ready to rumble. Uh, you can see we've made quite a dent already in that peat heap, uh, ready for going into our flower beds. Next part then is to put this tree in. This is our cherry blossom tree that's going in there. We've barrowed it all around. Dad is inspecting the uh, flower bed inspector. As you can see, she's enjoying some fuss. It's this beautiful uh, prunus tree is called royal burgundy and the difference is obviously it's got these lovely burgundy leaves and pink cherry blossoms 75 quid that cost us yep and <laughs> we bought two uh mrs john Coop and i went a few weeks ago and got these and they've been sort of just tapered up there to stop them from falling over found the middle then and clearly dad is doing the digging we're digging a little hole we're going to whack the tree in and hopefully that will keep mrs john Coop happy for today <laughs> Tree is there then, and uh, Crystal is still inspecting the progress. Got a big stake in there. I know I should put it in an angle. I haven't done so for aesthetic reasons. Uh, tree is in, healed in nicely, and uh, last lot of concrete is there. And we've discovered that we're also being watched by the tree installation inspector, <laughs> Daisy the Cat's given us a little bit of a meow as well. There's an update then on the project, and the last part to do was to water it in nicely. There's the cherry tree in. More updates to come. Thank you for watching.